I'm trying to trying to come up with a demo of uh, Tesla's rotating magnetic field demonstration. He came up with a uh, you know, rather abstract idea of a rotating magnetic field and had trouble selling that to industrialists and finding any backers until he came up with a concrete example that was called the Columbus egg. And uh, to try to demonstrate that, I'm using this of course, a rotating magnetic field from the coil. This is a Mendelssohn's motor. Uh, the rotor has been removed from it. This is just a you know, rotor. The rotating magnetic field grabs onto that. It does have a run cap. So we're putting in a little holder here. And I tried various things to see what would work the best. Uh, magnets, bolts. But uh, what worked the best is a very was actually part of the motor itself. Very thin steel spring. So let's energize this and throw it in there and watch it go. You see this thing really, once it gets up on the wall, it will, it will go. Oh, anyway, it's rotating magnetic field, pulling it around. And if it gets up on the wall, like a motorcycle, it will go. Of course, not when I'm filming. Oh, there you go. There it goes. Doesn't stay there long. Anyway, that's uh, my new field routine. This is powered by Variac. It's turned down really, really low. Extra power doesn't really seem to do much for it. For this little thing. I would love to try this with a low frequency. Maybe I'll hook the line bridge up to a, the uh, stereo amplifier, create 100 watts of, uh, you know, 10 hertz, 5 hertz, if it would even do that. Maybe 20 hertz. That's for future anyway, but you can see how it goes.